got to press just a little further, right? I feel like I've got to be getting to a boss soon. There's a slight pressure because we're planning on doing a co-op series and I haven't reached the boss yet. And we need an endpoint for that. So let's try to go a little further. Hey guys. Anything over here? Well, this would be a nice place to fight people. If anyone comes after me. Nice little segregated spot. Isolated. Isolated is the correct word for that. Spear man. Come on, buddy. You look nice and fragile compared to some of the crap I've dealt with lately. Can I leaving attack him from here or would I get stuck is the question. Yup. I'll teach you to block. Only I get to do that except for all the times that enemies get away with it. No big deal. Poke. Hey friend. Don't mind me. Just murdering your neighbors and wandering around. Hey. Yeah, date deal with him before he becomes a problem. Is that that's a player? Do other players actually show their armor now? I'm curious. Cause in uh, Dark Souls 2, and I believe Dark Souls 1, and I think every Dark Souls game basically. You would just see a series of... It, it would, you would think that you were seeing v various other players and what they look like in their worlds. But you would actually just see a... You, you would see one of four pre-generated characters. Like, they might they might represent the... They might represent the behavior of a real of a real player, but they're actu instead of loading the actual details of what they were dressed like, it would instead dress them up as uh, whatever it felt like. It's the guys from the trailer. Slash cinematic. The uh, weird... Turtle shelled hobbling guys with their poles, which I can't help but think I can't help but think of the uh, the creatures like the wise sages from uh, Dark Crystal when I see them. It's I can't escape that visual at all, at all. Nothing over here. Be wary of frost. Oh well, that's a boss fight. Look at that. Something's trying to beat its way through that door apparently. I'm sure I'll be fine. I'm gonna be so dead. Well, at least it's easy to get here. That smashed floor. Alright, come get me. Not yet. Do I activate it by touching the door? Look at that! Something hates this door. really was right next to a boss fight. So it's- oh my god, he's huge. It's a good thing he's super slow, because he could get around so fast at that size, I'd be so screwed. Hup. Rolled it. Hup. Okay. Hey, I blocked it. Cool. Alright. Rolled it. Let's be very careful here. His left side seems a little vulnerable. Oh. There we go. Pokey pokey. Oh, this is frost meter. That's new. There's never been an ice element in this game. Pokey pokey. Alright, he's easy so far. Can't wait to regret saying that, huh? I'm under you. Still under you. He doesn't he doesn't seem to be slamming yet. Okay, let's get away from him. Okay, it must be phase two. I thought he might... Oh, God. Oh, God. Okay. He seems angry about something. I... Th I imagine I don't want to be near that. Yeah. Okay. Aggression level escalates quickly. Huh? Oh. He got me a little bit. It's weird, he looks like a ridiculous dog wearing human armor. Almost like it's a human that's been conditioned to think he's he's a creature. Oh! The smoke effect. Hi. Oh. Is he gonna keep charging again? Yep. He's doing that again. Alright. 
Just want to be sure about my the openings when I take them. Ow! Never so much for being sure about it. Huh. Triple, triple charge. Run! There we go. That seemed like the right time to use my art. Ow. That could have gone better. Shit. Shit, 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 shit. There we go. Ow. Ah. Taking hits more often than I'd like. So I was able to stun him. Oh, did I overchug? I feel like I only used, I thought I only used three. How did I use... Maybe I miscounted. Huh. Power strike. Ow. I might lose. I think I might have blown it a little bit. Oh. Oh, no. Okay, he got me. That charge is something to deal with. Still, he seems pretty vulnerable. I seem to get better about being behind him, and I gave him, I was giving him too much distance when I should have been constantly going behind him instead. Alright, nice and easy to get back here with minimal damage. Let's try to undo my mistakes there. He does seem to get stunned if you do it just right with the weapon art. Hup. Hup. Careful. I'm, I'm giving him too much distance again. Just get up in there. Oh! I've been slammed. Come on and jam. Damage seems worth it, though. Getting plenty of hits in. Now we know not to worry about that weird moment where he char- Oh, this this moment, actually. There we go. Oh! Alright, here comes the, the charges. Oh! He's done. Now he's doing that. No! Run, 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 run. There we go. He's nice and vulnerable at that moment. Oh! He got me. Okay, let's get out of here before I die. Hi, buddy. Oh, he's mad. And I'm getting very icy now. I should be worried about that. Alright, is he gonna charge now? Yep, I think so. Nope, never mind. Oh, I'm frostbitten. I don't even know what that means, but it's probably not good. It's wearing off, whatever it is. Dodge! Shit! There goes my Estus Flask. Dodge! Holy crap, that's a long Estus has it. Damn it, I was doing so well. I blew it. I, l I let him build up the frostbite effect. I'm just trying to heal now, and it's not working out. There we go. It's a long animation for healing. Oh, he got me. Oh, crotch shot didn't work out. <laughs> didn't get stunned that time. Alright, I blew this attempt, I think. I was doing well, but it's pretty bad now. I could probably I could probably try to cheese it with a uh, firebombs, but I want to have a better attempt, honestly. I'm sure as an ice boss, he's probably vulnerable to fire. But I would I would feel bad if we got that far and I'm like, let's just keep throwing firebombs. I'm I'm so close to beating him just normally. Relatively easily, too. Alright, third time's the charm probably, unless I totally choke. Buddy. Yep. Yep. Taint shot. They're really forgiving with this hitbox. I'm used to enemies around this size having a bad tendency to not get hit for some reason by spears on a regular basis, but I'm having no trouble hitting them for the most part. Oh! Oh, that ice stat's building up again. I assume that blocking builds up ice. Or like, any impact, regardless if I block or not. So I'm I want it to wear off a bit before it gets worse for me. There we go. Just being careful. Being careful. Stabby, stabby. It's fine. There we go. Right up in their taint. Right up in that taint. Alright, he's, he's gonna start jumping at me, right? Yep. Anger mode. 
Oh, should really be behind him right now. There we go. Oh. Blocked it just barely. Oh, haven't even... I've barely, oh, I basically haven't been hurt yet. Oh, that was a miss. Oh, that was damage. I'm being too aggressive right now. I'm just going for that weapon art when I really don't need to be. Oh. Oh. Secondary charge. Third charge, I think? Or is he charging up now? Nope. Oh. Oh, that's bad. Oh, here comes the charge. I made a mistake there. Ha 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 Quick heal. Okay, I missed my chance for t Oh god! What a weird delayed effect there. I hit the heal like three seconds before it started. So I thought I thought the I thought the input was cancelled at that point. I assumed the game was just gonna ignore me. Huh. Huh. There we go. See? Just takes a little practice. Got him down pretty easily at that point. Soul of Boreal Valley Vort. What? <laughs> sure, why not? That series of words. Ooh. And a bonfire. These are all good things. Well, that's a cool door. Is this the return of the Demon Souls way of handling bonfires, I wonder? Because in Demon Souls, every single boss fight just gave you a warp st a warp point. The difference was in Demon Souls, there were no other warp points besides the boss fights, which was kind of rough sometimes. Uh, I remember having particular trouble trying to deal with Flame Lurker, because the previous bonfire was the previous boss, which was an eternity ago. Bonfire lit. They might be happening in every boss fight again. I think that's how Bloodborne handled it. I would welcome the opportunity. I, I welcome anything that adds more bonfires to the game. Just because it's handy to be able to get around easily. Let's see. Where's that soul? Oh, wait, it was on that first screen, dummy. Because it's consumable. One of the twisted souls seeped in strength. Soul of Vort of the Boreal Valley. One of the twisted souls seeped in strength. Used to acquire many souls transposed to extract its true strength. Vort served as an outrider knight. Never far from the fleeting dancer. Well. Keep an eye out for a dancer, apparently. I think the dancer is the boss that was hinted at in the first first ever reveals about this game. I don't know anything about it, but I just know that there was a dancer boss at some point. Everyone was talking about it, and I was carefully avoiding watching anything about it, because I hate spoilers. Oh, this view! Look at this view! Wow. That's what I could imagine Lordron looks like. That looks like it might be a 3D area you might be able to walk on, that bridge that's over there. It's hard to tell, but this is one of the most breathtaking landscapes the game's ever had, really. Wow. Let's put that uh, binocular back on real quick, why don't we? Probably should just put that on my tool belt, tool belt, really. So I'm sure we'll be going there. They don't really like extraneous background elements. Whenever there's stuff like that showing up around you, it's probably because it's an important part of the game. So we have some sort of village destroyed area. We have this wall, which may or may not show up later. There's a some sort of warehouse looking building over there. Kind of castles way out in the distance, although it looks like the same one copied twice. I think that is the same castle duplicated twice, so I think that's just a background element over there. Wow, they really did duplicate it, huh? Yep. Yeah. That's the thing about From Software is their scenery... Okay, okay, this is obviously really important though, by the way. But yeah, the thing about From Software is their scenery is often really... Like, the, from a visual design standpoint, everything's really breathtaking. But up close, you can see where they cut all the corners because... They, are, they do have to make these games relatively quickly and relatively cheaply. Japanese companies aren't really good on... Ha overly expensive projects. Because they're used to not having them sell that many copies, really. You can see a cathedral way out there in the, in the shadows. In the, in the smog. I wonder if we'll see that up close later, or if it's just a vague building detail. Because the number of castles on these... There's one up there, too. The number of castles on these hills are absurd. 
This is just a cat. This is just a kingdom that took over an entire continent at some point. All right, let's raise our let's raise our banner. Undone settlement. All this time has passed. Oh, well, yeah. Here's the destroyed. So that, that out there is the huge structure that I'm sure we'll go to at some point. But here's the desiccated-looking structure. If I go over here, there should be. A, yep, that's the destroyed wall. Whoa. The nomad things are there. Tons of them. Oh, those those ones are. At least some of those are moving. The one on the far right, almost. That one's moving a little bit. The other ones are pretty stationary. Definitely getting like. Here's a visual from the uh, old hunters DLC of Bloodborne, basically. This destroyed wall. They must have been trying to get to the keep to be safe. Down here, everything's worse, probably. I'm not sure. Oh, what's this? Tyrone. This is a mad phantom. Will you summon it? His face. Come on, man. So if I summon him, he'd try to attack me and murder me, apparently. I think that's how that works. But what if there was a faction where you could choose to help or hinder people? What if that was what... What if that was what mad meant? I've never seen purple before, but it'd be crazy if like that you could, they join your game and they can hurt all the enemies, but they can also hurt you if they want to. And like I don't know, whatever. You never know what you'll get. There's a no, there's normal summoning signs. Stevie Game Bros and Marthicus. That looks like he's designed to look like Marth. Almost certainly. All right, let's go ahead and just apply the binoculars here. There we go. Instead of my hot bar. All right. This is a nice little tease of what's going to be coming soon in this game. Thanks for watching like always, guys, and I will see you next time. Well, let's actually, let's go... Let's go level up first. And I'm all cindery again. I think that increases my health bar. I think that's their way of doing... Here with, uh... Humanity this time around. So we have Cemetery of Ash, High Wall of Lothric, and Dead Settlement. I might put off this place for a little bit, because... Uh, there's more stuff I obviously to explore in, in Lothric because there's unopened doors and the cemetery of Ash even has more to check out. If if nothing else, there's this the ice monster, but there could be more around there too. So I'd like to f I'd like to cover more stuff around there before I could press too far into the undead settlement. But yeah, we, they've had a four Souls games so far, and all of them except for Dark Souls Two have a scene where gargoyles come down out of nowhere and carry you away. It's all spooky like. Welcome home. The fact that they insist on making that a reoccurring thing almost cements Dark Souls 2 as this weird red-headed stepchild that is the one, only one that didn't do that thing. Ooh! Two points from a dex point from strength, or two points from dex. I'll definitely be increasing my strength a little bit if it scales that well with my weapon right now. Because it'll, it'll scale for a little while at least. But at some point both of them will taper off and we'll see how it goes from there. Alright guys. Thanks for watching like always, and I will see you next time.